Hello? It's your boy Faith Chad of Guanin. <laughs> Sorry, a bit gassy off the malt. I hope you got your um I like it bottle openers to pop open your malt. <laughs> open that up like a charm. Yeah, just a quick video to say um hey, hi, happy new year. Keep it short and sweet. Um there's this myth that um we're perfect Christians. <laughs> no. It's not a myth. It is a myth. It's not true. It's a lie. Um, I believe a Christian is someone that has accepted God into their life. Uh, acknowledge their sin and knows that they are imperfect and need a perfect God to save them. That's all it is. People say, I'll come to Christ when I'm perfect, but you never will come to him because you're never going to be perfect in that respect. But I just want to encourage you and let you know that um, come to the church. Come to church, come to Christ, get to know him, get to know him a bit more. And don't base Christianity off other people or how we behave. Now, we're um, all imperfect. We like, all have our flaws. People are always hypocrites in church. There's liars, there's thieves. Yeah, that's where they're supposed to be. You know, Christianity is a hospital where all patients you go, you don't go to the hospital and find, you know, well people just chilling, going for a checkup. That doesn't really happen. But in church, that's what church is. Um, I see church as like a spiritual MOT, kind of way to get fixed. So when you get fixed, you don't just like go, but you go out to disciple and bring ever more. <laughs> bring ever more people into the church. So I just want to encourage you and say, yeah, man, don't um beat yourself up because you're not perfect, but come and explore. And another thing, a lot of Christians as well now, we face so many things and we're quiet about it because no one... We feel we can't talk to no one because we might get judged, but we need to be real with each other. It can be real. Let's be real. The more we talk about it, the more we can get dealt with. In the church, we don't have tits. Women don't have tits. They're just like 1D, just one dimensional. Um, I know like stigma are two dimensional. No, yeah. But yeah. It's, we don't we don't have them because we're holy but that's not true it's because like in the church we pretend like we don't have things like you know it's not real do you know what i mean christians don't go through that because we're super safe we don't you know want to play games i'll edit that out yeah so um you get me we just gotta be real do you know what i mean once we start being real, and that obviously goes from the top. Once our pastor start being real and addressing his issues, then it feels down, and we can feel open to say such things. Do you know what I mean? Find a Bible believing church and get this thing popping, man. But I just want to say, um, keep your head up, be encouraged, speak up. You never know who's been through anything, and it's our job to help you through. Sorry, the guess of the malt is just getting me somewhere. Click like if you like more. Yeah, so um, yeah, just to encourage you all. Um, be the best you can be. Have a great year. The year is it's January. We're well into the year now. Well, yeah, so, so they say. But seriously, rule. Um, let's just be real. And um, it's good to have like a mentor or someone to advise you. However, there's no point having a mentor or covering or someone if we're not going to refer everything to them. Three people you can't lie to. One, your doctor. Why? Because you would die. <laughs> Not really gonna die. Two, your lawyer. If you lie to him, you go to jail and then you'll die. <laughs> Not really gonna die at all. Three, your pastor. Because they can't pray for you and then you'll die. So, um, yeah. Uh, you can't, well, you're not gonna, re yeah. So, yeah, it's good that you should tell the truth in all you do. You get me? Um, hit me up, man. Just let me share my thoughts with you guys. Let me know what you think and hit me up. God bless. Standing up. Faith. Um, see you this year. And thank all of you for your support, your love, and everything. I really do appreciate it. God bless you. Standing up.